particularly exciting going on on set today, so I thought maybe we could take the camera down to the kitchen of a film student, wherein I could show you the exciting conglomeration of ingredients we use, such as ramen noodles and more ramen noodles and box mac and cheese and our own blood, sweat, and tears and a couple of cockroaches from the kitchen floor. I'm just kidding, we've never actually had cockroaches here. <laughs> nice, however, we've had a plenty. Oh, um, I'm sorry, Mac, I got tea leaves in there. Do you want me to get you another one? No, it's fine. Actually, change of plans, forget the kitchen. We're reading fortunes. Uh, Mac, are you sure? Yeah, it'll make me feel better. And besides, you and your daughter. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that. Don't lie, you totally would. <laughs> Wait, why would it make you feel better? B is out to get me. I can just feel it, and I just want to know what's coming. Um, okay. Okay. So, I see a baby and a sword. <laughs> well, is the sword above or below the baby? To the left, like the baby is holding the sword. Well, then maybe it means no one who was ever born can hurt you. How do you figure that? <laughs> By my magical fortune-telling powers. <laughs> uh, anyway, maybe it's that a baby will kill you. Or <laughs> that a baby is as likely to kill you as anyone else. And of course, a baby is not going to stab you. <laughs> so, anyone who's ever been born can't hurt you. So then I'm safe from everybody, <laughs> I guess. Give me that. I wouldn't say so much a baby with a sword as maybe a tree. A tree? Yeah. So, you're safe until the forest itself marches up here to get you. Well, in that case, I think I'm probably okay. <laughs> I would say so. Do you feel better? Yeah, lots. Man, a baby with a sword and a tree. You could really make this stuff up, Beth. Oh, you know, I guess. <laughs> hey, I know what else would make you feel better. We're not making that kind of video. <laughs> You're funny. I'll be right back. Everything is wrong, and I don't know how to handle any of it. Beth always acts like she knows what to do, but I don't think she's as sure as she seems. And anyway, her methods are sometimes. And I'm trying to deal with everything. I really am. But all of my friends are either dead, gone, or have turned against me. When we started this whole project, this film crew was made up of some of the most important people in the world to me. And now I'm seeing them all as threats that need to be neutralized? It's messing with my head. And then there's this whole fortune telling thing, which I never would have believed before, but it hasn't been wrong yet. Me getting promoted twice, Holly having both better and worse luck than me. It's all been true. So then, are the tea leaves right too? Is there somebody out to get me? Or can nobody who's been born ever hurt me, or not until the forest comes up here to get me? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but so did this whole card reading thing when we started. In the meantime, I'm handling things in their own way. Beth had me convinced that this was the right way to deal with things, but in practice it just... it feels wrong. I don't know. Hey, Mac! Are you talking to someone? Uh, no. No, I'm not. <laughs> Good. I wouldn't want to think that you're going crazy. <laughs> I'm not that either. <laughs> Good. 